How to align a triangle with a circle and a square. Centering an equilateral triangle is very easy. First, activate Show Center in the Attributes option to show the center point of the circle. As we know, centering with a bounding box looks unbalanced. Show the center point of the triangle as well. Without it, you cannot align to its center point, as I have shown. Then center the circle within the triangle while holding Control on Windows or Command on Mac. However, for a triangle where not all sides have the same length, which resembles the letter A like this one, it can be a little tricky. To find the center point of the circle, start by drawing perpendicular bisectors on the bottom and either the right or left side. To draw the perpendicular bisectors, draw circles with a radius larger than half the length of each side. In this case, I simply use this circle as it fulfills the requirements. Place the circles at the corners and then draw perpendicular bisectors at the intersections of these circles. Finally, draw the circle at the intersection of the two perpendicular bisectors, which is the center point of the circle. Let's try to put square frames on both of the triangles. The isosceles triangle looks balanced to me. However, the equilateral triangle looks unbalanced. Let's fix this problem. You just need to duplicate the triangle and center one of the triangles within the square frame. Then I will duplicate all the elements to show the differences between the three alignment methods. After that, draw a square to align one of the triangles to the middle of the square. This is called Goldilocks alignment. I borrowed the term from the fairy tale Goldilocks and the three bears. The principle has been applied across various fields, including astronomy, psychology, and economics. In this context, the idea is to find the perfect balance between two methods of alignment, where the geometric alignment is too high, and the bounding box alignment is too low, but just right. I hope you found this helpful.